What's up, everybody? It's your boy Blackbeard, and we're here with another video. Today, your boy just did a thing. Your boy just sold his way to master rank. Let's go get a hand clap and award for your boy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I sold my way from beginner to uh, masters. For probably the be um, the beginner to what is it? Great. Um, I played with some friends and then I stopped playing with them because their mobile knowledge isn't at the same level as mine's is. So I was like, let me go just get myself to masters real quick and then come back and help them out. Um, I have a lot of mobile experience. Uh, I played a lot years of of League of Legends, uh, years of Smite. I played Mobile Legends. I just love MOBA. MOBA is my favorite genre. Um, and due to the due to those reasons, um, I felt like grinding through the ranks by myself was fairly easy. My friends don't have, actually, if not all my friends, this is their first MOBA. So it was a little bit of a struggle to grind there with them. But uh, I would go show you guys what I think will work to go help you guys grind two masters because i know a lot of people don't have people to play with and then uh let's go get it started i got some notes with me so if you guys see me looking down that's just me you know <laughs> being a professor you feel me and looking at my notes so let's get it started all right so beginner to elite all right so beginner to elite guys you just want to learn the game just learn the game I know you guys are on, everyone is on social media. They might be in groups and Facebook groups on Reddit and discord groups and chats and stuff like that. And they're seeing people post a bunch of pictures of them getting themselves to master. So they're like, why can't I get myself to master this? Everyone else is posting it, but trust me, guys, trust me. You don't know what these people's backgrounds are. You don't know that you don't know if they've been playing uh masters uh not masters they, they, they've been playing other mobile games so they have that mobile experience to go give them that advantage or you don't even know if they had a full man a full five man they were full five man they were probably worse than you but they had a team to, to kind, of, kind of help them you know get through the ranks you just don't know so stop looking at other people and just grind and learn the game from beginner to vet one from beginner to vet one, I personally believe that everyone should, you should be able to grind yourself to those ranks by yourself at the very least. If you can't, if you're stuck in grade or stuck in elite or stuck in beginner, that's, that's mainly because in my opinion, guys, again, this is all my opinion. You're missing out on core basics that you need to get through the game. And it's, it's okay. It's okay. You guys don't got to go stress. You guys don't have to like, you know, get, put your, put your head in a wad and think that it's over and stuff like that. It's okay. It's your first MOBA. Relax. You'll get there. Trust me. You'll get there. So in the beginning, your, your primary objective is to learn the basics of the game learn what to do learn what not to do learn what works learn make sure your your controls and your control your controller settings are up to par to what everyone else is using um i i don't know but i'm pretty sure some of you guys you haven't fixed your controller settings so you're probably auto aiming still and you guys want to turn that off you're not gonna get any better if your auto aiming is still on. So turn that off as fast as possible. Please guys, it's for your benefit. Turn off the auto aim. It's not worth it. In the description, I'll put a, a an advanced controls list or guide, and you guys can go ahead and watch it to go get your controller settings right. I want all you guys to win. That's what the professor wants, all right? All you guys to win. So again, guys, Please just learn the basics of the game. This is your first MOBA. It's okay. All right. So 
any every Pokemon in this game from beginner to vet one is valid. Your job, you could play any Pokemon through those ranks. Your job from beginning to from beginner to, to elite is uh, like I said, to learn not only learn the game, but every Pokemon is valid. Learn that character that you like and learn them very, very w well to get you through those ranks. You want to go through those ranks and learn that character. And it's easy to just learn one. I would say learn two characters because you never know if your character gets chosen. So you have to learn someone else. You get what I'm saying? So learn two characters really, really well. You know, for me, I'm a Snorlax main. So it kind of worked out considering the fact that Snorlax is probably the best tank in the game. I've been a Snorlax main since 1998. Every Pokemon game that I play, I play Snorlax. Snorlax is on my Pokemon team in every single Pokemon game because that's my favorite Pokemon. All right. So learn two Pokemons very, very well. It'll help you guys grind through the ranks. You get to learn the in and outs of that Pokemon, what not to do and what to do with those two Pokemons that you decide to use. All right. So point number three. You don't have to attack all the enemies that you see. I see a lot of new people do this. As soon as they see an enemy, they feel like they got to go after the enemy. Please, guys, stop doing that. You don't have to go after every single enemy that you see. That's not what the purpose of the first three, three to five minutes of the game is to do. The first three minutes, three to five minutes of the game, your goal is to, to farm. That's what you want to do in the beginning. As soon as you get the farm, back off. You kill that. You kill your uh your your the the minions that's all, all over the the map. You 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 back off. You go back to your to your base. The only time it, you want to you know maybe poke at the enemy, but that's really it. Unless they're like really out of position, then you can go ahead and go for the kill. But in the beginning, your job is just to farm. That's it. Just farm. You get that. You get the enemy's uh, minions or your minions. You go back under your base, farm. You go back. You kill that your the minions again. Go back to your base. That's it. That's all you want to do in the beginning. You just want to keep farming, 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 farming. The goal in the beginning, early game, is just to make sure you're out leveling the people that's in your lane. If you're out leveling your opponents that's inside your lane. You you did your job. Your job is complete if you out level the people that's inside your lane. All right. So make sure you're always killing something. You're always killing something. Please stop. There's this minion that you guys just see me see me kill right there. Please stop getting uh stop killing that minion. That's the that's your teammate's jungle. Don't get it until after the first general the first dreadnought is destroyed once the first dread gets destroyed then you can go ahead and kill that core fish but another thing i see people do is they get steal that core fish and not understanding that you're taking away farm from that for from the enemy from not the enemy from your teammates jungle which you want our you we want our jungler to be at a more advanced level a more higher level than the enemy's jungle that's what we want because a good jungler that's out leveling could literally carry the match because they will be the highest level on our team so you don't want the enemy's jungle to go be jungler to be higher than our jungler because that's just doing that's doing a, us a major major disservice okay so stop taking that core fish until after the first dread all right make sure you do make sure you guys do dread first. And once the dread is away, then or once the first dread is taken, then the jungle is kind of open for it for takes and for grabs pretty much. OK. So that's that. Um. So to reiterate, make sure you guys are farming in the beginning and farming a good amount. You guys want to just keep farming, farming, out leveling, only go after the kill if you guys can. But you, 
if the enemy team is backing off and running away, you did your job. They ran away. Just go back. You don't need to fight underneath their goal because what's going to happen is the enemy's jungler is going to come and gank and then end up. You guys already had the advantage because you pushed the enemy team back to their goal. And now you're going to be at a disadvantage because their jungler just wiped wiped both you guys for overextending for no reason. You you guys already got the farm. That's it. You're done. Okay. All right. So now the, another another thing. Rotom and Dredna. A lot of you guys are gonna hate me for this. A lot of you guys are gonna hate me for this. But the Rotom and Dredna situation. I have I have a pet peeve, guys. I know the meta right now is everybody rotate bottom to get Dredna. But my thing is with Dread right now, currently in his current state. If you if you, I know you guys, some a lot, most of you guys are new to the game. So you guys might not be able to read what's going on and read how you guys don't know how to read maybe the situation of the game. But if you guys can't, if you guys see that you guys are already under leveled by the time the first dreadnought even comes, please stop getting dread. Please stop getting dread. If you already see that your team is under leveled and the enemy team is already out leveling you. Why I'm saying this, I'm saying this because your team is already at a major disadvantage at a major disadvantage and since they're at a major disadvantage you're probably going to end up losing dread anyways so why not since you're going to end up losing dread more than likely what i do what i've done personally this might sound a little, little bit selfish and i've won most of my games doing this while everybody else rotated bot i stay top get rotom end up taking the first the first uh, goal and the second goal and because i take the first and the second goal the enemy team is now pressured why i say this they're pressured because now we're up because i did that i know that we're up in 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 buckets we're, we're just up in buckets and that's the that's the purpose of the game the purpose of the game is to beat to score that's what you want to do. You want to score buckets. That's the main objective is to score buckets. I understand that dread puts you above dread now puts you above certain, you know, uh it puts you above in levels over everyone, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I get it. it. Gives you a free shield. It, it get it dread gives you a lot. I get it. But it just becomes a certain time where it's you're throwing the game because of dread because you're instead of just getting an objective that's not contested which is rotom what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up losing the dread and and not only is the dread you're gonna end up losing after after what most people do they get dread and they the whole team rotates top to get rotom so you're, you're gonna lose rotom it indefinitely you're gonna end up losing rotom once the enemy team gets dread so to to cancel that while they're getting dread you get rotom because you don't want them to get dread and rotom that's what you don't want them to do all that is just gonna cause a bunch of problems and that's how you lose the game you lose the game because you lost both objectives instead of you guys just losing one you guys end up losing two and then there's no way to coming back maybe a zapdos can save you but that's 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 really it you know so guys please stop getting um dreadnought if you guys already see yourself losing i personally think that not everybody needs to go bot one person could stay top while the everybody else is bot lane trying to go get dread but that whole dancing around dread you're losing out on so much levels because what normally happens is because i stay top by myself i'm farming so much 
and I'm scoring so much because uh, I'm getting when you guys score buckets, you get so much experience that I'm out leveling my and en the enemy team because I I'm literally farming for free top lane without anybody contesting me, and that's how I got and reached to master by myself. I the everybody goes crazy for dread. I don't. I know you guys might hate me for saying this. I am one of those guys that don't get every single dread. I assess the situation. If I feel like, if I feel, if I, first of all, if I go bot lane, I always get dread because I'm already bot lane. But most of the time I'm playing on top lane. So I just stay top, far my way through. It could be a 50-50 chance between my enemy, my, my teammates getting dread and me getting and the enemy team getting dread um i i kind of go with you know obviously hopefully i want them to get it but if they don't at least not only did i take down the the level one tower but i already scored buckets the 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 second goal is already almost destroyed as well meaning that we're definitely up in points how i play the game my team my teammates is up in goals and because my teammates um and my team is up in goals and points if we do lose zap those there's been so much games that we lost every single dread we we lost every single dread the enemy team ends up taking zap those and because of all the buckets that i scored in the beginning of the game I still my, my team still ends up winning because I literally null and voided all the buckets that they needed to score because they they only want they they got all the dreads and I get that dread is important but guys you're throwing the game you're throwing the game if you give them both dread and rotom don't lose both objectives please do not lose both objectives and that's probably the most important thing of gaining ranks and getting to master solo you don't want to lose both objectives so somebody needs to be at top getting rotom while they're doing the whole little dance at dreadnought which is a 50 50 fight really is not a 50 50 fight most of the time it's like a 25 75 percent chance that somebody somebody on uh, one of the teams is is up in levels already before the first dreadnought even comes up which that means that team is more than likely going to end up getting it more times than not and you lose games if you lose both dread and rotom dread i feel like is good in in comp and stuff and it, it, you lose the dread it might be over because it's comp so everybody knows how to play the game but in solos, when you don't know who your teammates are, you're taking that gamble and you don't want to lose both objectives. That's when you lose the game is when you lose both objectives. And that's all I want to say. None of the matches are done. None of your matches are ever done in this game until Zapdos comes. So guys, please don't surrender until Zapdos. And I would even say uh, I've won so many games that that the enemy team stole zapdos and gained every single dread that i just stopped it has to be a really obvious a really obvious loss i'm talking about we're, we're down to our last goal that we lost every single dread we lost every single rotom and the enemy team gets a zapdos all right surrender the game is over there's nothing you can do to go come back this it's, it's, it's just over those are obvious throwaway games but uh that's all i have to say guys this is professor <laughs> blackbeard i hope you feel feel the situation um if you guys like what you guys see if you guys have any questions on grinding two masters please write it down in the comments i'll answer every single question uh, please hit that subscribe button, that bell button, and like if you guys like the video. I greatly appreciate appreciate it. It's your boy Blackbeard, the professor, and we out. Peace.